guys hey welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Courtline. in today's video we're going to be doing a first look review um, i'll be giving you guys my thoughts on the bond number nine new york knights cologne before we jump right in go ahead if you are new and you're clicking on this video for the very first time feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and become part of the Simply K family. Uh, leave me a big thumbs up, click on that post notification bell so that you never miss out every single time a new video hits my channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. All right guys, so from the title and the intro, we are going to be reviewing the bond number nine New York Knights cologne. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay. So, first look at the packaging. So, this beautiful box and the bottle inside of it has a picture or um, design that mimics the New York skyline or manhattan skyline whichever one this brand is out of new york um and i love the packaging of these boxes like there is a protective film over most of the bond number nine packaging which is giving it a luxurious feel to be exact so this is the box all right now when we open the box you get it open here we have our bottle with that same unique pattern Again, there is a card in the box that you can fill out um, to get a discount on your future purchases. I may be saying this wrong, but I think this is what this card actually does or what you can use it for. Just fill it out with your information um, to get additional discounts on future purchases. Now, jumping in to this cologne, we have it here in 100 milligrams. And uh, this particular Bond number nine cologne was launched or released in 2017. And um, retail pricing for this, this one specifically is $460. If you want it to get the 50 milligrams, it's going to be $295. Um, the notes, for this fragrance are as follows. We have jasmine, gardenias, carnations, patchouli, sandalwood, marine accord, coffee, and caramel or caramel. Um, I definitely, definitely get a whiff of Hmm. A little bit of caramel and sandalwood, a tad bit of coffee. When my husband wears this cologne, oh my gosh, he smells on the skin. This smells so, so good. Um, it lasts probably about five five to six hours before you need to reapply again. But a little bit of this does go a long way for sure. Um, I would say the strength of this scent would be somewhere between an eight out of 10. Um, I love it. I really, really do. I've seen so many videos of this specific one here on YouTube. 
um, and a lot of people really really love this fragrance now if you guys have any questions about this cologne where i got it from i will leave a link for you in the description section below um i know a few of them that i may have reviewed in the past i think the um harlem one uh it actually was discontinued at one point it came out in 2003 i know i'm talking about a whole lot of another different cologne but this one here um they do have and they do sell a lot of so just let me know your thoughts let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section if you guys do have any questions i will be happy to answer anything that you guys may have um and yeah I love this cologne guys um really really like it the scent is really really good now i'm not telling you guys to go out and spend 300 or 500 dollars for this there are options for samples if you want to try it before you buy it or just want to just use the sample instead of actually buying the bigger bottle um but definitely this is a must-have for your collection if you're a collector um to add to that collection so uh that has brought us here to the end of today's video um once again thank you so much for the love and support i appreciate you guys um and yeah <laughs> don't forget to subscribe 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 i cannot say that enough um i love you all thank you all for the love and support i really appreciate it i will catch you guys in my next video bye